Hello Girl Scouts, I am Lina Garcia and I am a troop leader as well as a staff member of Girl Scouts of West Central Florida. I'm here today to show you how you can make your own recycled bracelets out of old t-shirts. But before we get into that, I want to talk about the topic that is connected to our theme of Girl Scout Spirit Week, and that is sisterhood. I want you to think about what comes to mind when you hear the word sisterhood. Maybe you think about your actual sisters, if you have any sisters, or maybe you think about your best friends or your close friends, or maybe you think about your fellow Girl Scouts. What does it mean to be a part of a sisterhood? A sisterhood is a group of girls and women coming together to encourage, uplift, and celebrate each other while respecting each other's similarities and differences. Sisters look out for each other, help each other grow, give positive encouragement or offer advice, and are kind and generous with each other. So today we're gonna make some friendship slash sisterhood bracelets that we can wear so that we can show that even through the distance, we are all still connected through our Girl Scout sisterhood. The items that you're gonna need for, this, for these activities are very simple. You're gonna need an old t-shirt, Make sure you get parental permission to, to use one. You're gonna need some scissors. And then optional, you might wanna use some tape and a ruler. I'm gonna link the video that I got the idea for, for this video from, um, in the description box below. So if you have more materials at home, you can also look at that video and pick what bracelet you would like to make. So the first thing we're gonna do is to do is get some uh, strips out of our shirts okay we're trying to get st strips that are about a little bit longer than two feet long okay in order to get the strips the first thing that we need to do is cut off the hem of the shirt okay so you can figure out the best way that works for you on how to cut the hem okay i'm just gonna go i'm kind of gonna guide myself through this guideline right here and just follow it all the way down until i get it all okay I will come back once I have that cut. Okay, so I just cut the the hem off. All right, I don't even need it and I kind of made a mess out of it. So we don't really need it. But now we're gonna use the t-shirt and how we have it to make some strips. Now here's where the ruler is useful. And you can either use the ruler and a marker, or you can use the ruler and just the ruler, or you can eyeball it, whatever works best for you, okay? I'm gonna fold my shirt in half. Make sure that you ask your parents for help if you can't do this yourself, okay? I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna press this down with the scissors so I can get an even edge right here. And then I'm just gonna cut all the way across, okay? I'm trying to even out this edge because I made a mess of it when I was cutting the, the hem off, okay? It doesn't have to be straight. I'm just trying to get enough where we can kind of get some even strips from the t-shirt once we, once we have it cut, okay? Okay. So that gave us a, a more clean edge than what we had before. That was kind of crazy. Even though here we already have, we already have a circular strip, this, which is what I'm looking for, okay? But I'm gonna make some more of those so that we can, so that I can make more bracelets, okay? But this is definitely plenty long, all right? So if this, if this technique works for you, I would suggest to use this because you can get some really nice strips of a t-shirt like this, okay? So we're gonna have one strip. For the bracelets, we only really need two strips to make these, um, but I'm going to get several, uh, I'm gonna get like maybe four so that I have enough material to make multiple bracelets. As you see, I'm not really measuring it. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Um, so it might be good to get some adult help. All right, now I'm gonna use one of my strips. Now I had old black t-shirt that I cut strips out of earlier, okay? So I'm gonna use two strips of different colors to try and help guide how to do this part, okay? Since the way that we cut it, we already have the circular, the circular strips that we need. We don't really need to do anything with the tape, but just in case you did something like I did with this with this strip, where one of the strips is, um, I, I cut it too skin, skinny at one point and it kind of 
split apart, you can grab the the edges of your of your strip and kind of do it like this, kind of make and and then close them with with some tape. It's gonna look like the end of a shoelace when you do this part. So there you are. There you have you have like a circular a circular strip. Okay, so no worries if you couldn't get any circular strips when you were doing it the first time, okay? Now you don't have to use two different colors. I'm gonna use two different colors so that you can see more clearly what I'm doing and so that you can see the design, but it's gonna look exactly the same way if you follow the steps, okay? They're gonna start with one edge of the loop. And you're gonna loop, kind of make a little loop with the other edge, okay? And then you're gonna bring this one on top of this one, just like that, okay? You're gonna grab your other looped strip. You're gonna put it on top of that loop. And you're gonna bring this side around and underneath this, but over this one, like that, okay? Then this, you're gonna slide up underneath this part, then over this part, then under this part, okay? Okay, now you're gonna start pulling on the strips. Pull slowly, it'll help create, it'll help create the, the design that we're looking for. Okay, this is the reason why I did it with two different colors so you can kind of see how the design's gonna look. Because when you do it with the same color, you kind of can't see the design as well. So I feel like this is a good way to show you what the design is gonna look like. Okay. So there it is, that is the design. So this goes around your wrist. You can either pick, you can pick which eye you like most, like that, okay? So it goes around your wrist like that. See that? It's really nice. Okay, so now we have to figure out the way that we can tie this. Now remember, if you get lost at any point, you can always go back and look at it again, okay? So take your time. If you don't like the way that it looks, you can try again. Um, and then you can figure out which side you like and how you want to wear it, okay? So go back, do it again until you get something that you that you like. So I'm gonna pick this side. I think it looks the cleanest. You're gonna put that against your wrist. And then you're gonna just tie these sides together. And you can ask your parent to help you with this. So it's kind of a little tricky since there's so much cloth, okay? And then tie it with an overhand knot, which is the first step to tying your shoes. And then you tie that really, 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 really tight, okay? The cool thing about these bracelets is that since they are made with, um, with a t-shirt they're very stretchy like i had said before and so you can just light this right off without hurting your hand or anything so there i'm gonna make sure that this is pretty tight okay and now i don't really want this excess on there so i'm just gonna cut this off so there's our first bracelet you can use different colors t-shirts, you can use the same color t-shirt, it's pretty easy. Um, if you look in the video in the description, in the description, in the description below, you'll be able to see um, how the original video closed, closed their bracelets. I felt like this was the easiest way to do it at home without having to go out and purchase things that uh, the majority of us might not have at home, okay? So that's that first bracelet. For the second bracelet, you're gonna need strips of t-shirt again. Now for this one, it doesn't matter if you can see the pattern or not because um, the pattern doesn't really matter. It's gonna look really cute anyway. But you do need the strips to be kind of long but separated, okay? So we don't want any pieces that are together. So to get the strips of, of, of t-shirt for this bracelet, I did the same thing that we did for the first one. And instead of keeping it whole like this, I just looked at where the sides were and clip them. Okay, so now after you have your strips like this, you want to line them up.
and you want to tie them all together in a regular knot. Once you have them tied together like this, you want to use a piece of tape or something heavy to hold the strips down to the table, okay? So that you can make your bracelet kind of tight, okay? So now here you just braid. So if you don't want to braid, you can just start braiding where you normally would, or you can follow my pattern, okay? I'm not really good at braiding, so I'm just gonna do the best that I can to do this, okay? So you guys can try the best that you can to do this too, okay? Um, but you can also, as I said, you can also ask your parents for help at any moment. You don't have to try and do this on your own. If you're feeling frustrated or you're feeling like this is too hard, just ask some, just ask an adult to help you. I'm sure they are more than happy to sit down by you and help you to figure out how to do this, okay? So the way that I do this, and I don't know if it's the correct way to do this, but this is the way I do it, is I do over, under the middle one, and then over the last one, okay? And then this one becomes the first one again, right? So I'll take the first one again, over, under the middle, and then over the last one, okay? What I'm gonna do now is, is that I'm gonna take this off the table. Okay, so here's my bracelet. Let's measure it, make sure that it's long enough. Yep, look at that, beautiful. Okay, and now I'm gonna loosen this side up, okay? Make sure you get any adult help during these sections. If you feel like you can't do it on your own, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. It's part of our sisterhood, helping each other. Grab one edge. You see how there's, how they all like line up with each other? Like this one line up, lines up with this one, like this, this one lines up with this one, this one with this one, this one with this one, and this one with this one. We're gonna tie those together, okay. So, there's the bracelet. When I put my hand through it, you can see that it's completely tied. Then after I finish tying it, I'm gonna cut all the ex extra off, okay? Okay, so that's what it looks like in the back. But this is what it looks like in the front and this is what it looks like when you have it on. Thank you so much for joining me today and learning how to make recycled bracelets out of old t-shirts. I had a lot of fun making them and I hope you had a lot of fun making them too. Please remember that every time you wear your bracelet, you are reminding yourself that you are still part of this Girl Scout sisterhood and that no matter how much time we spend apart, we're all in this together. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye.